in the last video uh, I told you uh, I told you to install chorus plugin for Chrome uh, so that our application can work but of course this is not a good way to go about things so I decided to make this quick episode so that we can disable that chorus plugin and uh, for our application still to work so chorus is a cross-origin resource sharing and uh, Chrome doesn't allow it by default uh, it's a security issue so we have to make uh, we have to enable cores on Drupal so to do that we are going to be needing some things but as you will see it's not very hard to do so first of all you just go to this uh, link right here I'm going to provide you with a link in the description below for it and just download the zip file and I will I already put it in my uh, assets folder in movies API so I created assets folder and put it there so once you do that you will get a zip file and then you just take that zip file open it up and just uh, paste everything that's in here to the uh, your movies API modules folder so you would go to uh, your Drupal site go to modules and just copy this right here and I'm just going to rename it to be course Drupal 8 okay so once that is done you just go to your uh, site and go to extend and now if we write cores right here we have this plugin we have to enable it but once you enable it uh, I already did the next step uh, so it won't show for me but once you enable it you will probably get an, an error that this thing right here is missing so a stack chorus so to install that you have to have composer installed on your machine it's not very hard so if you uh, if you have uh, let me see if you have macOS or Ubuntu or something like that you can just do this curl ss uh, https get composer or uh, this line right here you can use whatever you want if you have uh, Windows machine you can just go to get getting started click on installation of Windows and you have this setup exe dot, uh, composer setup dot exe file which you just run and it will install composer for you so composer is a package manager for PHP uh, it will allow us to easily install this plugin right here so stack chorus uh, also you may already have this installed on your machine so you don't have to follow this step uh, I already have it installed on my machine and what you then need to do as you will see right here it says to install it you just have to require this right here so you just go to your terminal and I will just go to uh, my movies API or Drupal folder so CD public movies API and now I'm in my Drupal uh, folder and I will just do composer require let me just make this a bit bigger so I will just do composer require ASM 89 stack course press enter and it will install on your system and you're done so I already installed it so this works now for me and once that is done you can then just go to your Drupal installation click course and click install okay so the course module is now enabled and now if we go to our movies app as you can see I don't have that course plugin right here and it's not enabled on or anything we just refresh the page and we get our data so we don't have to worry about that anymore uh, and that's it for this episode so in the next episode we are going to do filtering as I said in the previous episode but I just wanted to shoot this quick one so we could get this course things out of the way okay guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one